Okay, okay, okay. I think we're live now. All right, all right, all right. I, I had a little bit of trouble right here starting the stream, but uh, perfect. All right, so welcome back, every. Sorry. Welcome back, everybody, to. I forgot to. I forgot to plug in this light right here, which always lights up the background. Great. Welcome back, everybody, to the stream. I hope you are doing very well today. Yeah, I haven't streamed in, like, a few days. I think I have kind of forgot how to stream, haven't I? Like, how it works. How am I supposed to talk to you guys? That's just great to see. So let me just try to get into this. Yeah, seriously, I haven't streamed since, I think, like, Tuesday or, like, even, even Monday or something like that. I haven't streamed in a while. On Unfortunately, so that's just great. Uh, yeah, welcome back on board a very special plane. Yeah, you know, this is kind of like a, a special stream as in we're gonna fly an especially um, Realistic aircraft here in the flight simulator. Yeah, this is of course the triple seven from flight factor And to anyone who knows what flight simulator is and what flight f I mean what flight factor is and what they do we don't yeah they, they make very professional planes so this is gonna be very interesting um, to, to see today right um, so just go ahead and um, oh fly and stuff let's maybe talk a little bit about where we are as well uh, we are in the Alpine Mount and we've already got a donation how's it going <clears throat> what's up Tristan we'll come back uh, great to see you around let me just turn this off here the um, the blurring mode yeah welcome back <laughs> Sorry, I'm having like s serious strokes here. I haven't streamed in so long. It's so weird to stream. Anyway, um, see the thing is we're back here in the Switzerland. Switzerland, yeah, Swiss, Swiss, Switzerland. You can actually call it Switzerland. And we are actually at this interesting Buox airfield as well here where we're going to start off. We're going to, you know, check out those interesting Alpine Mountain airports that we have um, today. So... That's just great. Um, and uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna fly a little little bit around today. Um, I, literally, I literally don't even know what I'm, what am I supposed to say on these streams. Don't expect absolutely Donated one hundred seventy by one dollars. Oh hey up? Swiss, hello there. Tomorrow I don't need to go to school because the national day vacation. Zany face. And also the nice. flight factor seven hundred seventy seven V two is now developing. Yeah. The, the second version of this plane, I guess, is, is now being developed. So that's just great to see. Even though I think this is also very much professional. But let's just go ahead and actually try that out for our cell. Let's go and turn on the battery right here and turn on the APU. Start that up and hope that that works. Uh, but yeah, Evelyn, it's great to see you back. Um, as always, you know, whenever I'm streaming, which I'm not always, right? You're always there, which is great to see. Let's turn on all the fuel pumps so that the damn APUs can start up. And I think it's already going, isn't it? Yes, APU's already, I think, working here with this plane. Let's turn on the APU generator, see if that works. Yes! I think we're going to have a, a very nice workflow in today's stream. Uh, just like the first minutes define the stream, uh, define a live stream very well. So it's great that we have that going. Let's turn on the everything, the buzz ties here. And as you can see, oh, wait, why is your screen already working? That's a little strange. Is that normal on the triples? I mean, this is a very realistic aircraft, so normally on most airliners, right, if you start them up initially, like the instruments, right, the the especially the primary flight display won't work. So, uh, like the artificial horizon that we have here, that would normally not work. You would first of all have to align the plane on the inertial navigation system, but I guess that's not happening right now. What am I? Oh, what am I? This is the wrong. This is the right generator. We don't need that just yet. Okay, then uh, I'll take that. Let's turn on the Aderu and just hope that um, well, we still... Oh, yeah, there we go. All right, it's gone now. That's just how it normally looks. So, let's go ahead and align the plane to the uh, inertial navigation system. Again, this is a very realistic plane, so this is just how you would do it in the real lives. The problem is, though, uh, where's the damn then uh, inter inertial, nav inertial navigation systems display? Like, I cannot find it. Is it up here? Uh, the thing is, this is, again, a very, very realistic plane, so this, even this button, this switch works. Are we, are we comfortable about that? I don't know, um, but that's just great. Oh, oh, damn. Oh, damn. Oh, I thought the plane was broken. I think what, what happened was we went into the seat or something. Anyway, where's the damn panel? You guys, this is probably one of those, gonna be one of those very much failure streams where you guys just have to help me out. To like get this plane off the ground, I seriously don't know where the stem inertial navigation system is, and why is it so dark in this cockpit? I want to turn on some of those lights here. I mean, after all, we do have APU power. 
Okay, here we go. Oh, yeah. This is the thing about I like a lot about the 777, the green lighting. What do you guys think? Awesome. <laughs> Come on. Concentration is needed now. Um, I just don't know where to put my concentration. To what panel? Where's the damn... Help me out. Turn on the damn APU. It's already turned on, as you can see. If it wasn't turned on, then none of this would actually work. Okay, let's turn on the dome lights here. Here we go. Get some of the brightness up here. Cabin, yes. Panel, yes. Storm, oh yeah. There we go. Just some nice light. Oh yeah, this is very green now. I'm green, dabba dee, dabba die. Don't know. Um, primary flight computers, that should be turned on. Oh, it was turned on. Thrust SMS. <laughs> Where the hell is the inertial navigation? Please, I, I need help. Like, for the navigation. To Juke zero five one two one nine nine oh, three no. donated We're not gonna two start euros. Up. No, is no. there Amy seven and seven hundred seventy seven decillion seven hundred seventy seven non alien seven hundred seventy seven octillion seven hundred seventy seven septillion seven hundred seventy seven sextillion seven hundred seventy seven quintillion seven hundred seventy seven quadrillion seven hundred seventy seven trillion seven hundred seventy seven billion seven hundred seventy seven million seven hundred seventy seven thousand seven hundred seventy seven I'm not gonna do this. I'm not gonna do this anymore. Please. We, we're not gonna spam, okay? DR1ST4, an original What's donated that, one pound and 79 pence. My dad flew the 777 for Qatar Airways. Nice. Alright, it's alright, so anyway though. Right, I'm not I'm not accepting that. I, I don't want to make this like a raging stream. I want this to be just a calm, nice, professional flying stream. As it says in the title, no triple seven spams, alright? I'm warning you right now. Juick. Idiot. We're not gonna do that. We're not gonna go through that anymore. We've done we've done it, been there, done that, as put Pitbull has said before. No. The uh, we're we're over with that. We're, we're okay. It was a phase, right? And it's not we're not we're not gonna keep up with this. Alright, anyway, where the hell is this damn inertial navigation system? Ah, uh, this is one of those planes that I hate to fly. Where the hell? <sighs> initial navigation? No, Inish no performance edition. No, I just, I just want the plane to work. Index, position, uh, index, uh, um, nav data. No. How do I turn on? <laughs> no navigation for you. We need, we need the. Is there navigation? Just, is there even a navigation panel here on the triple seven? I haven't flown this plane ever. Please. I seriously haven't flown this plane before. Give... I... This is already the worst stream ever. Seriously. Just like because I cannot find the proper buttons. It's, is there even a nav navigation panel here? Or do we have to work with the uh, flight management computer? That could also be. Please. Give me inertial navigation system. Is it here? Where is it? There's nothing here. What is this? Oxygen mask. Nah. Wrong one. There is no manual. No, I'm not gonna use the manual. <laughs> the thing is, the thing is, right? Even if I, if if I, if I had the manual or the checklist, it would just find. It would say find the navigation system uh, panel, right? And nurse never the INS panel, but it's not here. Is there even one? <sighs> it's the Aderu button. I've already pressed that. So is that all we need to do? Seriously? Well, that seems a little bit underwhelming. Is that all we need to do? All we need to press? I mean, this is a very modern airliner. Look at the top buttons. Well, yeah, I've... I've uh, oh, that's a good idea. I've never looked at the top buttons of this damn plane. I mean, yeah, maybe Aderu is the right one, but we have, I've pressed this, like... It at least says four minutes to align. Where does it say that? Position? Does it say it here? Um... Does it say here? It doesn't say it anywhere, does it? Uh, oh, it says it here. Oh my, it does say it here. Welcome back to Professional 001. So the thing is, this is, of course, I did. I'm, you know, I, I've once again underestimated the, the 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 simplicity of modern planes like the Triple Seven. So it uh, it's just aligning automatically, but it's taken four minutes. So we're just gonna sit. A we're gonna sit around for four minutes now. So okay, so there, this is all we need to do. Press this buttons button. 
All right, welcome back to Genius 001. Great, but while we're doing that, you know, we can already work on starting those two GE90 engines, everybody. We all love those engines that the 777 has. So let's maybe go ahead and nicely turn it on. For that one, we'll need the APU bleed and <clears throat> everything uh, turned on, but we need fuel wise. Let's turn on auto start and turn the right engine to start. Start the ignition, start the ignition. It's not working, is it? Um, I think we need to press some more buttons. How about this one? All right. Buttons. Ignition still hasn't started up. Great. Uh, come on. Turn on. This is, this is not working. This is just great. Activate the fuel run. This way? Is that, is, do we have to really turn this, turn this on already? See, you know, I've, I've started up, we've started up a lot of planes here in those streams, right? But, uh, normally, he would, um, this is a little bit strange. Normally, he would turn on the fuel run only, like, a few minutes after. But, uh, that isn't a case here. Turn on! I just like to see, there's another, I'm trying to make this professionally, but the thing is, I'm not working very well with checklists or anything at all, right? Which is kind of a bad idea, right? But it still won't work. All right, come on. Turn on. Auto start. Let me turn on the left engine. See if that works. Yes. It doesn't work. Come on. Plane. Why won't you spin those engines? Seriously. I mean... <laughs> Are the fuel pumps on? Of course they're on. Everything is turned on. Everything we need for this plane to turn on is turned on, I think. Like, this is the thing. Like, I'm always, you know, kind of guessing, hmm, what could be wrong now? There's nothing wrong now. What is? What about the APU? What about the bleed? The APU bleed's turned on. Everything is good here. So why won't the damn plane turn on? Maybe bleed air isolation valve. Bleed air isolation valve. Oh, yeah, okay. I thought those were the packs. I thought those were the packs, but these aren't the packs. So I think we need to turn this one on to auto, right? What's up, six, four? What is that even username, dude? How am I supposed to pronounce that one? All right, come on. Start. Start. Oh, start indeed. Oh, yeah. That's the one we needed. Yeah, welcome back, everybody, to um, Professionalism 001. So what I had to turn on was the isolation of the bleed air. Don't ever know what that is. I've never seen that one before. But I, I guess that works. Let's turn on the engine to run. Oh, wrong button. Turn it to run. There we go. Let's add some fuel to the left engine. And we can see the beautiful GE90 engine turning on. Everybody, this is professionalism. We're turning on a plane. Welcome back to Wizards Area 1. Great. Let's turn on the right engine as well. Yes. I see that works. All right. So, start. Start. Come on, plane. You can do it. You can. You can't. It can't do it for some reason. Why can't it do it? Come on, plane. Ah, uh, yes. There we go. We also have some... What do we call it? Spinach. 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 Everybody. Engine is spinning. And that's all we need. And, you know, the beautiful... Why Why are we even, again, in, in a Delta livery? Like, that makes no sense. We're in Switzerland right now. We're just going to fly through Switzerland. Check out some small airports. That's literally all we're going to do. Uh, but anyway. To everyone here in the stream. And yes, spinach as a noun for spinning exists. For anyone that's been waiting uh, just so long for the airplane to align on the inertial navigation system, well, it's about to happen in five, four, three, two, one, and ne now, here we go. Engines are turning on. Engines, I mean, instruments are turning on. As you can see, we have the screen and, well, everything seriously is turned on. Everybody, we have just started up beautifully a triple seven. No one could have done it better, of course. <laughs> All right, seriously, for like a for like a startup of a plane like this, this has seriously gone somewhat well, right? Right? It always takes a few minutes because of the damn inertial navigation system. Let's turn on everything here. Turn on the anti ice thing. Pretty much here with these kind of planes, they're so simple to operate. Just turn on turn it all to auto. Turn on the uh, there you go. The electricity from the thing, from the engines. There we go. And let's turn off the APU generator. That's fine. And it's time to turn off the APU to save some fuel. 
Here we go. Because APU does actually... APU, yeah. The APU does actually use quite a bit of fuel. So, um... It's great to turn that on, especially if you're flying Reiner and you're, uh, you want to save money. Fun fact, I'm going to be flying Reiner quite soon. Everybody, you probably in the title, you should pro uh, in, the, in the comments, you should probably let me know. How am I going to survive this? Is there any, is there any proper, proper methods to do that? Also, how am, I, how am I supposed to get onto the runway? The thing about this airport here, by the way, we are at the airport where Pilatus builds their planes. Buox, uh, very close to this extremely beautiful lake here in Switzerland land. Um, and it's got actually a runway that's, um, well, it's been abandoned. So it's only got one runway. It's got, it, it used to have two, I guess, but one of them has been abandoned for some reason. And uh, we're having some tech taxi space problems. Thing is, the triple seven isn't really that small. That hasn't re that hasn't really working. All right, everybody, we're not fitting on. Oh, oh, cows, cow. That's not. Is that's not even a cow, dude? Is that is that an elk? That's not a cow. That's an elk. Oh my god, that is the creepiest animal I've ever seen here in the flight center. Seriously, what is that supposed to be? I'm not, those those kind of animals don't exist here in Switzerland. I hope so. Jesus Christ, what is that supposed to be? It's not got a face. It hasn't got a face. All right, so I, I do want to take a bit of a closer look then at the sheep as well, because we have sheep here. How they look? Are they also this bad? All right, you know what? They're actually okay. Those are fine. Don't... A moose? Yeah, probably. Why is that here? Why is that animal... Jesus Christ. That's a moose. Yeah, it's a moose. All right, it's a moose. That's, that's, uh, well, we, we should, we should have probably run them all over with her triple seven. I mean, seriously, this is quite scary now. Welcome back to creepy zero zero one. And I'm having some taxi problems. Like seriously, like which, which taxi way am I supposed to take? I think I'm, I'm not supposed, I'm, I don't, I don't suppose this is a good idea here. Um, yeah, whatever. This is, um, we're going to crash through a house, everybody. All right. So stress testing the triple seven properly. Let's crash this plane into a house. Now, we're going to take off right here. Uh, we have a lot of warnings. Uh, oh, especially fuel quantity low. That That is quite worrying. Uh, let's check the fuel quantity here. Our, oh, my. Oh. Can you see that? Dude, if we were to... We literally have only like a, a ton, like two tons of fuel on board. If we were to take off like that, seriously, we would be off the air in like, in like, a, in like three minutes. That is, that, I'm, I'm very glad I checked through those, um, through those warnings. Jesus Christ. I don't know what all the other warnings mean. Engine EEC mode L. Give me that one right here. Uh, turn that to normal, I guess. Don't, no, no, don't care. I mean, as long as the engines run, which I hope is going to work. All right, everybody, let's just crash through this hangar. Why is that in the middle of a taxiway? This place, this place makes no sense. Seriously, what is this supposed to be? But we're just going to nicely taxi onto this runway here in the Switzerland land and just fly. Just see if this is going to work. One engine is di uh, broken? No. No, no, none. Both engines are still working very much fine. So let's turn get the flaps going and let's get everything going for a proper takeoff, everybody. We're finally getting somewhere in this stream. All right, so it is time to already put those engines in full power, do a little bit of a drift. Mr. Here we Aviation, go. Donated oh, is that Mr. Aviation? Welcome pounds. back. I am back and ready to attack. Don't attack, though. No triple seven spams. I'm, I'm warning you, right? I have the power to end this. Shit. Oh, what's up? Oh. What's up, cemetery? Oh, my goodness. That has The 16927 donated 16 Hong Kong dollars. Hey, Swiss. Up, this is Delta 777, not Asiana 777. What? Asiana. <laughs> oh, that took a while. That took a while. Bang ding L. What's Where up, man? How's it going? Of middle age donated two pounds. Right, da modar das modi. Okay. Uh, I think my desk is starting to float. Whatever that was. Adventures of What's Jackie, up, Boy Jackie Boy donated four dollars and ninety nine cents. All right, take off. Hi, Swiss. Long time no stream. Yeah, I haven't streamed in like almost a week, and I guess you can tell by my lack of streaming capability seriously i mean we there we go 
There we go, though. We've taken off the triple seven. Nicely started up the engines. Nice, nicely started up the plane in general. There we go. Everything is fine. All right. Okay. After uh, a pyramidal age, just kind of summoned Satan with whatever he said. That sound like seriously. I don't know what that was. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, do some flying indeed. So the thing is, there's this LSMA airport here, Alp Nach. And um, let's maybe try to come in for that airport. Should we? I'm already slowing down. We're not gonna exceed 170 knots right here. We're gonna fly above this lake. And as you can see, sorry. And as you can see here in, um, with this runway, as you can see, it's, yeah, it's in the map, kind of, right? It's in the chart. Um, we're gonna, you know, come in for a landing already. So let's make everything ready here. Already put the landing gear down, because, you know, we've had some issues here on the stream landing without landing gear. And so we're gonna make sure that that is all going. The thing is, something I'm wondering about, something that maybe is worrying as well, is that the plane is not complaining at all about um, the terrain, because we're literally... It, the, the plane could think that we're literally about to fly to, uh, uh, to the mountain. What's up, Cameron? I'm, 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 I'm having a stroke again, seriously. All right, come on. What's up, Mr. Aviation? Mr. Aviation donated two pounds. Hopefully no engine covers fly off today. Nah. I mean, okay, we're on a triple seven, right? Because, you know, you may never know. But let's uh, come in for this approach. This is looking a little bit unstable, if I'm being honest. But I think this is going to work. All right, everybody. Passengers, let's get ready for a little bit of a... Quiet. That is... See, you can really tell the 777 was not built for airports like this. Jesus Christ. But it's going fine. I think we're handling this quite nicely today. How about this? We're looking quite good on this landing. Maybe we can make a butter landing as well. Come on. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I think that is actually a very nice first landing here in this stream. All right, everybody. Let's go ahead and stop nicely here. Okay, that's been a little bit late, but can be excused by the clapping. We have clapping. Clapping. And, oh, something's wrong. Oh, never mind. Clapping. I turned, yeah. Cla did I turn on, did I turn off the wrong, did I turn... I didn't. Did I turn on? Did I turn off the wrong sound? Oh my god. Okay. Psh. I, I meant to turn off the music, by the way. I meant to turn off the music. I, I have these buttons now where I can turn off the music, music, but I'm not quite sure. Here you go. We've just been clapped for in this landing. Holy moly. So the thing is, this is, I think, like a military base. Let's check this out. This has actually been for the first, like, considering this is the first landing ever, like, here on the stream in, like, a few days. This has been a very beautiful landing. Look at this approach for a plane of this size. You know what? I can say I'm quite proud because I'm. I think especially like the last stream that I did was not good compared to this. By the way, what's what's those? What's wrong with those lights right here? Are those supposed to be pappy lights or something? I've never seen that before. All right. Yeah. I, I think again, this is like a weird military base. Let's check this out. Maybe a little bit late. Adventures of Jackie Boy donated four dollars and ninety nine cents. That was beautiful. Yeah, I mean, of course. I mean, of course. This was not an absolute butter of a landing, right? But that is really not. Where asked are you? Pair of middle aged donated five pounds. So what? would anyone like the full spec Apple Mac Pro from um fifty two thousand seven hundred seventy two pounds and ninety eight pence? It's of very cheap, you know. Uh, it's a very, you know, it's a very. Affordable computer, very nice. And I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, like, I wouldn't find better ways to spend those monies. A pilot license or a damn grand piano from t 1920. I mean, okay, let's, I, I, look at this beautiful landing though. Wow. I mean, the wing flex does kind of suggest that this was a bit of a hard landing, but this was not really that hard. 180 feet per minute at this kind of airport, quite nice. And yes, this is indeed like a bit of an old military base, I guess, because this is what the hangars look like. This is weird. Never seen that one. This is, by the way, this is not uh, an add-on scenery, I think. This is built into X-Plane. I, I have not installed anything. Again, whatever. Military base of Alp... Um, Alpnach, I think. Alpnach. Or Alpnach, or Alpnach. All right, everybody, let's go ahead and reset back to the front, to the start of the runway, right? Front, and take off again. You know what? 
the flying of the stream. I mean, we did have a bit of a struggle turning on the... Turn on the, I mean, not really. Turning on the plane well, also went quite well. I think this is from, from the flying part, indeed, as the title suggests, a professional stream. Everybody, not an Asiana kind of flying going on today. So that is absolutely good. Let's take off. Come on, release them brakes. There we go. Full power. Full power, yes. Okay, everybody. Let's get this going. Ah. <sighs> So yeah, how is your su it's Sunday, isn't it? Oh no, what? Oh. This has gone very wrong now. What is wrong with the plane? It's broken. Why? Why is it broken now? Completely broken. Like completely, completely. What? What happened? It's broken, broken. Have I run out of fuel? No way. I don't think I have. I don't think I have run out of fuel. Have I run out of fuel on, on the runway? Oh. Sorry. I was just bu busy flying, dying inside. I have run out of fuel. I have run out of fuel. That has not gone well at all. Come on. God damn it. Uh, sorry. Let's turn on the plane again. God damn it. Okay. The, um. That has not gone well at all. Come on, turn on. Super plane. <sighs> Come on, APU. Just work. Ah, uh, this is very much gone wrong. Turn that on. Wasn't I literally just talking about how nicely the stream was going and then this whole thing stopped working like entirely, completely? Come on. Here we go. Yes. All right, please. Please turn on, you stupid plane. Yes, come on. Work. Please don't disappoint me. Yes, please. Just work, you stupid plane. This, like seriously, turn on. God damn it. Yes. What's up, T TFS? Come on. Full power. No! Jaden donated $3. I dare you to play another Roblox flight simulator. Shut up. Oh, shoot. Uh. Everything was going so well. It's, it's completely broken. Sorry, I mean like, it didn't warn me or anything. You should select ground power. Yeah, maybe that's a good idea, but it's not it's not working. We're on the middle of the runway. Okay, dear passengers, uh, you might just wonder what, what just happened here. We have um, run out of fuel, because we, we have run out of fuel. That's basically what happened. It's just broken, this plane. It's just broken. <sighs> Take off fuel, total fuel. Uh we need like more. Come on, can we can we get some fuel? Load fuel. It's broken. The flight submitters sign into your Microsoft. I don't want that. It's all just broken. Crazy laser donated five New Zealand dollars. Swiss I did a butter landing check my Yeah. Alright. <sighs> What am I supposed to do now? Am I supposed to just restart this flight? Okay, I'm gonna do that now. Okay, okay, everybody. We're gonna do a big brain movement now. Movement? We're gonna uh, just spawn into this runway again. Just work. I just wanna fly this damn plane. Everything was going so well until it didn't. We're just kinda like, 
the summarization of everything that happens when there's a like an accident or something. Oh my goodness! Sign into your Microsoft account. That's that's what, exactly what will fix this damn triple seven. I'm just really I'm just trying to stream properly, make this nicely, get all this going, and it's not worked. God damn it! Come on. Preparing world. Yeah, for what? Okay, so what now? Plane is still broken. I, I can't believe it. And the thing is, like, in, in order to, like, load up the fuel, like, we cannot even do that. Like, it doesn't work. The, the panel is just broken. It won't let us do anything. Huh. Come on. Work. Work. It won't let us do anything. It won't let... Look. Do we have to pull up the fuel truck or something? It doesn't work. <sighs> Enter your feedback. Oh, this is very... It's all broken. Just die, flight. Seriously, why is this not working? I mean, okay. Should we just give up? Should we just give up? Is that, is that all we? Is that what the flight simulator wants? Oh! Wait. Load fuel? Load fuel. Load fuel! Please! Junk in the trunk aviation so donated trunk? $19.99. <sighs> this is the most Water. depressing stream I've ever done. Oh my god, Junk in the trunk. How's it going? Uh, thank you so much. You're, you're crazy. This is still not working. I'm just trying to enter like a number, right? To make it work, but it won't load it. It won't load it up. It sucks. It sucks. Save. Load. Save. Load. 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 Just load. Why won't it load? Cargo weight. Some or something. Passengers. 300. Yes. Load. Please just load it all. God, it's just, I just hate this. Junk in the trunk aviation donated $9.99. Lol, it will be okay, Swiss. Yeah, lol, indeed. It's just broken. Flight plane won't start. It. Nothing works. Nothing works. Loading will take a few minutes. Oh. No, we're not gonna wait a few minutes. So I'm gonna, I have a new idea. How about that? We're just gonna spawn into like 30,000 feet and we have to do something about it, right? Okay, everybody, welcome back to Challenge 001. I think we're now starting to get a little bit funky here in this stream. All right, so first of all, we're probably gonna fight for Shut up, okay, shh, shh, everything's fine, everything's fine. No screaming around. Where all right, are you shh. pair of middle-aged to meet right. at two pounds? Uh, okay, we need to act Your fast now. Your slowly turning into Craig Federighi. Craig Fre... Isn't that the the Apple guy, Craig Frederiki? All right, shh. All right, everything's fine. Let's turn on the um, bleed. Uh, no, the ram or turbine. Ram or turbine, please turn on. Yes, it's already turning. On. It's already. It's already is it already out? Where's the where's the ram or turbine? Get out, tur ram or turbine. We need you to get the electricity. It won't work. All right, we're we're dead. Okay, great. Okay, so do I do I have control of the plane? All right. Uh, yeah. So the thing is, you really know that you're in trouble, like when you have, right? <laughs> when you have three pages of warnings. Three. We're on the first page of the warnings. That's just great to see. Jaden uh, donated six dollars and eighty-one cents. <laughs> R.I.P. Swiss's keyboard. Yeah, but it's, it's deserved it. It's deserved it, and we have a bit of a problem indeed. Like, I have no control of this plane. Planeman donated $5. A350 is better than Boeing 777. Change my mind. I wouldn't say that. The thing is, um, I've, I've messed up the thing. Just turn the hell on, bleeder. Work. External power. This is all just broken. This is all hopeless. It's just... We're ex extremely, very much doomed. The rammer turbine won't come down. So literally everything is, like, all we can do now is glide to our death because we have no control of this damn airplane. Nothing will work. 
Whole hydraulics is broken. Everything is broken. <sighs> no, seriously. I mean, this, this is absolutely hopeless. There's nothing we can do. This this is weird because like, I the it. What, what does unlinked mean? Or unlinked? Like, what does that do? Like, I've pr I've pressed it now a thousand times. This damn button. It's not turned on. It's not working. The rammer turbine of a triple seven will not come down, which is very sad because that'll uh, well make us die. There's nothing, seriously nothing we can do. And, uh, <laughs> you know, the only thing we can really do practically is just fall to our death right now. Ser I mean, seriously, we, we have no control of the airplane. That would be very scary in real life if we had this kind of alert here. No rammer turbine coming out? How do I fix this? Is there any way we can fix this? Please. There's probably no way we can fix this, right? Well, next time we're going to be back in the Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. All right. So, everybody, it is now time for the moment of truth. Maybe we can still survive this. Maybe somehow the plane is going to, for some weird reasons, crash back at our Buox airport where we came from. It's still right there, right? I mean, we're all, I'm almost heading to the right direction, even though I would like to very much pull up. I don't want to crash into a mountain. That would be very disappointing. Come on, t come on, tilt. Tilt. Yes. Pitch, pitch. All right, we have like very minor control. At least I know it's it's only like an yeah. I don't. I only imagine it to be like yeah. No, no it's, we have no control of this airplane. Like, oh no, we have no control of this airplane. So there's nothing I can do. This is serious. This is extremely depressing. We crash into a railway. <laughs> Yeah, that has not gone very well at all. 150, 40, 30, 20, 10. Nothing's working. So yeah, guys, that's been a very disappointing stream. It started off so well. Like, everything was fine. We, you know, we, we, we started the plane up nicely. We, la we took off nicely. We landed nicely. We landed nicely as well. And then the plane ran out of fuel, and I couldn't refuel it. I could not refuel it. We've we've just crashed. This has just been a big disappointment. Nothing will work. Oh. Prop strike That's donated four dollars and ninety nine cents. Swiss zero zero two uh, looking kinda dead. Why uh, can't people keep sending stupid things for more clips? Oh yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna. I I want to upload a little bit more on, on Swiss Zero Two. I don't know why it's. I I, mean, I I don't know why I haven't really uploaded anything in, in such a long time. I get. I'm almost sad for it. Seriously, I mean, <laughs> yeah. I mean, uh, uh, we've we've got no instruments. God damn it. Uh, all right, everybody, welcome back to No Instruments Zero Zero One. I guess we're gonna now fly without them. That's just great to see. But no, I mean, I literally, I I do have like thirty thousand subscribers on. On um, on the Swiss Zero Two, right? So I, 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 it would probably be very appropriate to upload a little, a little bit more. Jesus Christ! I cannot talk. I cannot talk. This whole stream has just been so much of a mess that I just I just really lost the ability to talk. All right, everybody. But it, it, wow, that's working. For some reason, the plane is back working. Oh my God! Uh, never mind. thirty dollars. This is why the A three fifty is better. Oh my God! This is why the. I mean, the A350 is a little simpler, I would guess. Of course, yeah, I would not only guess, of course, it's a lot more modern. And 777 came out a lot before, a long time before the A350. Oh my god! What, what is this flight operation? It's just all gone wrong now. It's just all broken. Thank you, by the way, so much, plane man. Uh, send me your Instagram account and stuff for the address and stuff, please. What is what has that landing been, by the way? What are we even doing at this point? I just kind of lost track. <sighs> All right, maybe we can hear clapping though in the background. All right, so anyway, psh, everything will be fine. Have we crashed again? And no, we haven't. We haven't crashed. All right, everybody, psh, everything will be fine. See, you know, this stream started up so, so nicely with such a nice landing here. Very appropriate landing here in the Alpine Mountains. And I would really like to somewhat keep up 
that kind of pace. And so it is time to come in for a landing down here at the airbase of Myringen. The little runway is down here that's coming for a landing. The Jayden scenery is still loading in. What's up, Jaden? 777 doesn't like Swiss. No, I mean, the thing is... For, for anyone that doesn't know whatever the hell just happened, right? You, I'm, I'm not even quite sure what happened. The thing is, I ran out of fuel. And the thing was, with this add-on aircraft, you have to wait until the fuel actually is reloaded by a proper fuel truck animation and stuff like that. It is, it is after all, like a really professional um, plane, right? Um, and I, I'm not really into that. <laughs> just, just, I would just like to refill it just by pressing one button. And, and that was the reason... Yeah, we did run out of fuel, by the way. And what I tried, like, we noticed this, like, before taking off, of course, here, before the initial takeoff. Oh, my God, there was a fuel alert, right? And so I tried to go into this menu and just load up the fuel here manually. But that didn't work. It didn't accept it, accept it right? And um, so we ran out of fuel. Luckily, we actually ran out of fuel on the ground at that airport. So uh, just right after we landed, the engines stopped working, which was probably a lot of luck involved here. We could have just taken off, right? And we would have just run out of fuel in midair. That would be absolutely awkward here in the Alpine Mountains. So that would be absolute imminent death. Anyway, come in, in for a landing right here, miring in, and it's time Drops to maybe do a butter landing. Four dollars and ninety-nine cents. Slam zero zero one. Next time, use the SR seventy-one. Dude, we have never flown the SR seventy-one here on this channel. Maybe for some next streams, we can go into the desert of California land and come in for some landing here right now. And by the way, uh, and the SR seventy-one. All right, let's come in for a landing. Come on. Sorry. Sorry. Sorry, that's, um... Sorry. That's... Sorry. 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 Hey, uh, yeah. You're quite right about that. Slam 001. That has not really worked. I mean, it has worked. It's been a proper landing. Um... Sorry, uh... I do apologize. There's... Mm. <clears throat> See this landing? I just want to watch it again. I mean, it didn't really don't go that wrong, did it? I mean, that was fine. That was fine. A little bit low on the speed, indeed. That rhymed and that was low on the speed, indeed. But you know what? Not even that bad. I've seen a lot worse 777 landing. I'm looking at you, Korea Air. Look, what do you guys think? That was not a Reiner landing. Reiner would have never... Okay, we almost did like a tail strip, but then where... Yeah. Totally fine, totally acceptable. Totally all right, okay? Stop hating around all the time. You guys were just hating all the time. That's not good. No hating, right? No hating. Okay, so it is time to take off again. Since this plane now, in this kind of state, finally is flying nicely and, pro and at least properly, let us maybe go ahead and take off again and then uh, get this going again. This is great to see. Come on, full power. What do you guys think? Three out of 100? What kind of score is that? That wouldn't even be like on a 1 to 10 and 1. Oh, that would be a zero. Failure landings. Oh. Did you, did you see that little. Did you see that little. Um, wheelie? Yeah. Alright, taking off. Triple seven. By the way, something that's. Uh, that's something that's always been broken here in this flight simulator is this mountain. Like, uh, admiring an air base has just all been broken for some reason. Like, always. Don't know how, how and why, but that's just great. Let's take off. We're going to head on towards this beautiful lake, and then we're going to come in for this other airport that's located here. All right, let's get everything going here. Take off the 777. Jaden donated so, Jayden? $4.82. You should try and find an X-15 add-on. Dude, there is an X-15, of course, for the flight simulator X-plane, right? Even though it's very hard to fly. I even made a video about this. It's, it's almost impossible to fly, right? It's Of course, it's impossible to take off, like, quite physically. It's, you know, flown into midair by uh, another aircraft and then released, dropped, and then it can fly, right? But uh, it's almost also impossible to land properly, right? So, um, yeah. I've already tried that. X-15, not a very good idea. SR-71, at least that's a plane that is a proper plane that can take off on its own, right? So, yeah. 
as Route 71 is on the list. Let's go ahead and come in for some other airport, by the way. And I'm just always deeply impressed by the beautiful performance of the 777. It's almost too fast. Look, we're already at, 100, at 250 knots here. 240 knots. I had to slow down in order not to be too fast. I mean, look at how fast we are moving through these mountains. This plane is just way too fast and way too big for where we are. Like, the Alpine. Look, the mountains are below. We're just... Why it's a little weird by why the plane is not really complaining about it. Like, it's normally we, we would be screamed at by um, the GPWS callouts or something. What's the terrain? Terrain. Only the... Right now, what's actually warning us of the terrain is like the, this is what the thing that's that was up here. Um, that was the flights. Some flights that I'm at on, right? But that's not happening here. That's nice. Anyway, enough of messing around and talking around it's time to come in for another nice nice landing here at interlaken and an interlaken airport is right here we can see the beautiful runway which we're gonna now come in for a landing at four everything's fine let's get everything going let's just hope that we don't lose too much speed this is like the thing about the triple seven as well i would call the engines very um agile very reactive as in when you actually also step off the throttle just a little bit you're very bound bound to lose a lot of speed very quickly and then you're going to stall out you don't want to really want that happening so just always make sure to have a very good look at the speedometer that's not what you call it. speed indicator of course okay everybody it is time to, to actually properly come in for this landing see this is going to work uh runways down here let me make sure to get this going nicely I want this to be a nice landing. <sighs> There's a hot air balloon. Ah, that's just something that's just good about x -Plane. There's just always hot air balloons that are about to crash into. That's just great to see. Don't do sully mode. We're not doing sully mode. By the way, oh my god, I didn't put the landing gear down. Oh my, I, I'm very glad I saw that here. Jesus, that, uh, that has almost gone wrong. Let's just hope that the landing gear comes down before we come in for a landing. That would be nice. All right, landing gear's down. Perfect. Everything now is settled up for this landing. Let's come in uh, for the touchdown zone. We're a little low, maybe. Let's just, you know, this is a long runway. Let's just give her, give herself a little bit of time to make this a beautiful touchdown. Gives us a little bit more throttle here. A little bit more, a little bit more. Oh my God, this is. All right, great. Come on. Terrain warning. Okay, it's been a proper landing. Let's go ahead and stop very nicely. Triple Seven has very powerful engines, which will make a stop in no time. Here we go. Oh yeah, this is the, one of those airports which has a road crossing it, right? This is, I think, even a public road. This is a public road crossing the runway. Cause why the hell not? What do you What do you think, car? All right. This has gone very well again. Let's check this replay mode here. You know what? Considering what, you know, the last 30 minutes of the stream looked like, this was a nice landing. Even though we did crash, we did crash into a building. We did crash into a building. That has not gone very well. Let's check out the smoothness of this landing. Indeed, though, I think this is quite well. thing is, I wasn't quite sure how, how far we were away from the ground. For some reason, the GPWS callouts didn't work. Maybe because behind the runway, there's literally a mountain. And all I could hear was the terrain warning um, for a change. That's interesting. We go, though. That's gone quite well. And uh, what do I see here? Car. Let's check this. Did we... We didn't crash into that car, did we? Why is it standing here? Why... Oh, yes. Yeah, oh, yeah. The car's going to be... Yeah. All right. It's been hit by the nose landing gear. It's probably going to be blown away now. Great. All right. This has actually been a nice somewhat landing. And we've got some more airports here, don't we? We've got this one right here. Reichenbach. Very nice English pronunciation. Let's go ahead and reset back to the beginning of this beautiful runway and let's take off very nicely this triple seven. So what I'm, you know, I'm, I'm just using really desperately this side of this runway here because I do want to see what this is going to look like here, especially with this mountain. How are we going to get off the ground properly? Let's maybe try this. Um, configuration flaps. All right. What is wrong? Is something wrong with our plane? Oh. Something's wrong. Uh, is the parking brake on? 
Adventures of Jackie Boy donated $4.99. Oh, What's up, Jackie Boy? Beautiful landing. Also, I saw Sully land outside my window. <laughs> Did you? In New York? I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't believe you. Right? No offense to you, Jackie Boy, but seeing Sully landing outside of your window doesn't happen every day. All right, here we go. Let's take off. Nice. And it's now time to turn to the right before we crash into a mountain. Which could actually be cl Oh, that could be actually close. Damn, what a scary takeoff. But actually quite an epic takeoff as well. Look at that. I like this. This is going very well. Here we go. We've taken off nicely from this Interlaken airport and it's now time to come in for Reichenbach. I love that pronunciation. Great, this is actually very beautiful here. Okay, we've got some more terrain warnings. Again, this is a big airliner, not really made for even anything close to what we are doing right here. My apartment faces the Hudson. Well, that's... I really doubt, though, that you saw this, right? All right. Psh, everything's fine. So, everybody. Reichen back it is. Let's come in for a bit of a landing right here. It should be, like, somewhat in front. I think this is... This is okay. So, where the hell is that airport, though? It should be, like... We should be just probably turning to the left pretty soon. I think that we're already pretty much on approach right here. Okay. What's up, Robbie? Uh, how sw hi, Swiss. How are you? I'm, I'm doing very well. I hope you're also doing very well. Let's go ahead and get the landing gear down and get the plane landed. And we're already, as you can see, this is just a crazy plane. We are already at 300 knots. As, this is going to be extremely close, this landing right here. The, I can already see the runway. Right. Look how fast we are. Look how fast this plane suddenly got. Why is, the, why is this such a fast plane? The good thing is, again, I've said this before, 777 is also a fast stopper here in midair. So you can see this is looking quite nice. 119 knots already. We just almost lost half of our speed. Just like that. And it's now time to come in for this landing. This is going to be for the first time ever in this stream, like really a properly short runway, as you can see. Or like a not long runway, at least. Uh, uh, yeah, not long runway. Like all these runways here have been so far quite a nice. Um, uh, a lot of military aviation um, fields. I think we went two of the two of the landings we've done were on a military um, Swiss military fields, right? Uh, I don't know what this is. I wouldn't believe it's a military field. So let's just come in for a landing. Make this nicely. Let's lose a little bit. Of, lose a little bit of speed, and just as long as we like touch down on, on the touchdown zone, I think this is gonna go quite well. We've got a lot of power lines here, which I doubt they are like looking like that. And really, why are they so close together? I, I, I very much. <laughs> Jesus! All right, come on. Okay, come on. All right, a bit of a hard landing. Let's go and stop. I think this has gone quite well. Come on, stop, plane. Yes, you can do it. You can do it. I we believe in you. Full power. Oh. My God, please don't fail. All right, taxiway. That is not It's also a military airfield. Okay. Well, it's not worked then. That's, that's quite a short runway. <laughs> hmm. I mean, actually, they, I, I did very much believe in this landing working out because it looked quite nice here. It looked quite promising. Very much disappointing then. All right, let's check out this. I think we got a little bit electrocuted. Indeed, that has not gone very well. I think we also did impact some trees. We did, but we touched down very nicely here on this runway. Here we go. Just pretty much the first meter of runway we touched down at a speed of 130 knots. On paper, a totally doable landing, but it did not work. Great. That's not gonna work at all. But it's just great. We've done a lot of flying here in the stream. I mean, a lot of frustration also happened. But it's just great to see just always what we get here on Swiss Engineering 1. That's awesome. I wanted to see the hardness of this. And the landing was a little bit hard, to be fair. Yeah. So, yeah, guys. That's been the stream. Flying around in the Alpine Mountains, in the 777. Just absolutely great fun or something like that. I'll see you guys tomorrow. As always, good night. Yeah.